this isn't just going to be a Carolina Panthers win Sunday. No, this is going to be a game Bryce Young reminds the football world why he was taken number one overall. Remember, even though it's in Charlotte, it's a four o'clock kick. One of those late afternoon games, one of three games that's in that late afternoon slot. And our guy, Kevin Harlan's going to be on the call. So when Bryce has his coming out party against the Colts, when he goes off against Indy, a lot of eyes are going to be on him. And this is something that's been building for a few weeks now. The line has four of its five starters healthy. The exception, Brady Christensen out for the remainder of the year, replaced by a veteran that they've picked up who's starting to play better in Calvin Throckmorton. And because of that, we're seeing Bryce play with some more confidence. The staff feel comfortable calling more plays down the field. The Adam Thielen throw stands out. The throws to DJ Chark down the right sideline. We're seeing deeper patterns, deeper throws, passing yards numbers going up for Bryce as a result. And he hasn't had a turnover in the last two games that he's played. And on top of that, of course, he drove his team down the field when they needed him most to get a game-winning field goal in Carolina's first win, which had Frank Reich earlier today talking about the confidence level he wants everybody to have surrounding number nine when he climbs under center. When we walk onto the field with a game-winning drive opportunity and we got number nine in the huddle, we want everyone on our sideline to feel. We want everyone in the stadium to feel like this is going to go our way because of he, he's our quarterback. And I think last week hopefully was the start to something like that. It's not always going to be perfect. We won't, you won't, you won't make every one. But I think that's what we're looking for. That's the guy is going to be our leader. Plus, there's no longer this dark cloud hanging over the franchise, this pressure to win a game now that they beat the Houston Texans, which means expect them to play loose, expect them to have some fun, play with some joy in playing a Colts team that Carolina matches up very well with the Colts. They are the perfect mark. 25th in the NFL against the pass. The worst team Carolina has faced against the pass so far this year. How about this? Indianapolis has allowed 37 or more in each of the three games they've had in this losing streak. 37 or more. It's also a benefit that the game's in Charlotte. It's the Frank Reich revenge game. No Anthony Richardson, so it's going to be Gardner Minshew in a pseudo homecoming for him. Once upon a time, he was East Carolina starting quarterback before joining the late Mike Leach out west at Washington State. So what does Bryce Young going off look like? Somewhere between 275 and 300 yards likely. Multiple touchdown passes. He has not exceeded 250 yards in a game yet. He's come close a couple of times. Hasn't exceeded that number. I think he does that Sunday. He has only thrown for multiple touchdowns in a game one time. I think he does that on Sunday afternoon. Sunday is going to be the Bryce Young coming out party, and Carolina is going to beat the Indianapolis Colts 27-20. to 20.